What's going on, everybody? My name is Tech, and for the last 15 years, I was the number one seller of pre owned men's clothing on eBay. But today, we are about an hour away from my house. We are in Lake Worth, Florida. We come here from time to time. This is the closest flea market that I go that I frequent at my house. Every time we come here, we do well. Every time we come here, and I show you cool stuff that you can go out and you can find too. And if you're interested in learning how to do this, I have a great community of over 2,500 people that recur every single month. So you know we're in there making money. Money. We have 30 live calls per week. Everything is recorded if you can't attend live. I host a morning call every single day. I answer every single question in the Facebook group myself with a quality answer. We have calls in every single niche. If that's something that you're interested in, click the link below. But for right now, we have a mission. It's seven o'clock. It's the golden hour. It's time for us to go out there, get some profitable inventory so we can make some money. Or Lululemon. See what the good news is. Hello, good morning. One, two, three, four, five. That's a 40. Thank you. All right, two. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, so from that vendor, we got four Lululemon t shirts, one pair of what was the leggings? Aloe? One pair of aloe leggings. One Varley shirt. Came out to like $7 each, which is fine. Um, the Lululemon shirts will be just fine. Um, we learned the brand Varley when we were up in Orlando at Disney Springs with Arwen. We went to a uh, running store and Varley and uh, Viari were right in the front. Nike was all the way pushed in the back in the dark. So gotta learn brands. Hi. Thank you. It's the Harley. How much? Twelve. This one ten. This one is twelve. Is okay. okay. All right. All right. And this one, please. And how much? This one. Three. Three. Twenty-four. Thirty-four. Thirty-seven. Thank you. All right. Two pair of Carhartt jeans. Um, she holds them for me. I sell them for twenty-five, thirty dollars each at my brick and mortar store. One pair of Harley Davidson jeans, which I sell usually to my friend Full Court. And then just a nice Made in USA Eddie Bauer. Eating shirts, six bucks. Hey, hey. How are you? Gotta call the boss? The jefe? Oh. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Everything is good? Very good. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, and a couple of hats. And three hats, fifty-eight pieces, three hats. Okay, so fifty-eight times five, two ninety plus six, two ninety-six. All right, so we did pretty good over there. Fifty-eight pieces, I believe, and then we got three more hats. Um, she always lets us name our own price, three, four, or five dollars. She would be perfectly happy with three dollars, but I always pay the five. She's very generous, and it's more than fair um, for everybody. We got a couple good ones over there. We got a couple pairs. We got a couple, like, I think full suits of St. John Santana knit, which are great. We got a um, rain spooner, um, Los Angeles Dodgers Hawaiian shirt, and we got a bunch of good Lululemon, so not bad. Good stop. Hello, how much the shirts? Thank you. All right, take in one. One, thank you. 
So I don't know if you guys can tell, but a little different today. I really like jammed up my back the other day. I've been working on the warehouse a lot, trying to get that all taken care of. And man, I bent over and lift something up and holy cow, I've been like level 10 pain for the last couple of days here. Right now I'm like maybe like level seven pain, but we got to get out here. People are depending on us, like those folks, to come in, drop a couple bucks. They got bills to pay. So we're going to try to tough it out today. And maybe if I walk a little bit more, it'll kind of feel a little bit better, but progressively getting a little worse. But, you know, he should have been a doctor, right? All right, just finished the first lap. Good first lap. Not mad at that. Uh, my cart is full, even with the bag on top. My wife's cart, pretty good. But you want to get out here when the sun is just coming up. You get out here later than that. It might be a wrap. Everything good might be gone. And you just might be getting the scraps. So Wallace and Barnes, it's a good brand. How much? Alright, thank you. How much? How much? Thank you. Doing good on the St. John today. One book for some pants. St. John pants. Hello. Two more. Yes. And this one? Yes. Thirteen. Thank you. Thirteen? Sí. Thank you. This one? Cinco. Thank you. Eighteen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, thanks. Swung back to the first lady. Got a, got a hat. Got a... Lululemon jacket, a Peter Millar lightweight sweater jacket, True Religion hoodie, True Religion shorts, another pair of Lululemon, a Lully Pulitzer cashmere wrap or something like that, a shawl. All right, so you got to swing back past the people because they keep bringing out stuff. They got the first wave, the second wave, the third wave. Um, we did pretty good over there. We got... um. A lot of stuff for five bucks, so I'm happy with that. All right, so if you've watched the videos, you know that I make some connections everywhere I go. My normal guy who I made the first connection with out here, you know, usually buy probably one or 200 pieces. Funny enough, he hurt his back as well. So he's at home, but he said he has a whole bunch of stuff for me. So he lives about 26 minutes away. <sighs> It's not the day for me to be doing extracurricular activities, but we got to do it. So I'm going to head over there 26 minutes away, pick that stuff up. Can't say I'm going to record inside of the guy's house for obvious reasons, but I'll show you what we got over there. See if we can do a deal, make something happen. Let's head to this guy's house. All right, so here's the haul. That's the stuff that we got, the 50-something pieces from the couple, all the other stuff that we got. And now we're going to go head over to the guy's house and see what else we can get today. All right, so you guys saw what the car looked like before we came here. The car is absolutely full. Like, we just got so much stuff from there just now. And um, we'll go over it afterwards. All right, so we're going to do the haul indoors because last week when we did the haul, the phone overheated and shut off. It's getting too hot in Florida. So as you guys know, I have retired from eBay and I sell wholesale pallets. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heading out. I've sold all the racks except for a little bit. These ones here are just displays for people who come over and buy the remaining racks. All right, so now let's get into it. We have multiple hundreds of items. We got 57 hats. Here's a sneaky Patagonia right there. The Patagonia hats sometimes don't even have any tags in them, but that's a Patagonia one. We got Harley hat, another Patagonia uh, beanie. We got a 
Houston Astros World Series. Sometimes the new era with the patches on the side, they go better. What else do we got? We got a Marlins with the graffiti on the back. That one's kind of cool. Vineyard Vines. And then we got a G4 hat. Those ones also always do great. We got this stuff over here is just random stuff from the flea market. It's good. $25, $30 stuff. This stuff here is random stuff that we got from this guy's house. We got 234 pieces and I pay, let me consult my notes. We got 234 pieces from him. I paid 1,389, which comes out to $5.93 each. Arwen got a couple things. He paid 75 for what he got. So total 1,464. My end is 1,389 for $5.93 each. And that's this stuff and this stuff. This is the stuff that we got from the flea market. There's even more stuff behind it. Um, let's roll. All right, we got these Hoka's. They have Gore-Tex. They still have the plastic tab on the back. However, they have been worn. I'm not gonna say they've never been worn. I'm not gonna list them as like new. I'm not gonna say worn once, but these haven't been worn very much. I got these for 20 bucks. We got two pairs of Birkenstocks from the first lady we did the deal with. This is from the first lady we did the deal with. This is a cashmere cape from Lily Pulitzer. There's the tag. And as you guys know, when we're in West Palm Beach, we find a lot of Lily Pulitzer. This brand is Varley. We found this when we were up in Orlando with, Orla with uh, Arwen. Um, Varley, Viari, Tracksmith, they were dominating that running store. The Nike and the New Bounce was in the back in the dark. This is the Varley logo. All of these Lululemon shirts for men from the First Lady. There's another one. Here's another one. Long sleeve. Some of these may be finding their way into my closet here. We got this Lululemon sweater or jacket for women's. We got these Lululemon pants. Nice pattern on those from the First Lady Still. We got these aloe pants from the First Lady Still. Peter Millar. Lightweight quarter zip. True Religion shorts. Very nice True Religion hoodie. Heavy duty. And then that's it from the First Lady. The lady that holds all the Carhartt from me, she also held some Harley Davidson jeans. I usually sell these to my friend Full Court. It goes another pair of Carhartt for the jeans. Carhartt for the jeans and I sell these for 25 to 30 bucks in my brick and mortar store. They sell like hotcakes. I also got this from her for three dollars. This is a Wallace and Barnes camouflage jacket. Great brand. Wallace and Barnes does very well. And then this is some just miscellaneous flea market pickups. We got these vineyard vine shorts with a nice sailboat and an American flag. A Patagonia Cinchilla. North Face for women's. Eaton. Great brand on the Eaton. We picked up a couple of those last time we were at the flea market a couple of weeks ago. We got Untuck It. We got these St. John pants for women. A Robert Graham rainbow design polo shirt. It's got this embroidery on the front. A little tricky to photograph, but that'll do okay. We got another North Face, more of like a parka style, more heavy duty jacket. And I put this here as a placeholder. We got this stuff from... The couple that we got 58 pieces for, $5 each, came out to $290. And then we got three hats for um, $2 each, so the total was 296 bucks. We got some Lululemon running shorts, more Lululemon shorts, more, more. We got this St. John Santana knit. Here's the bottom skirt. St. John Santana knit. Here's the top. That'll do just fine. We got this Lily Pulitzer dress. Nice pattern on this one. And we paid $5 each from everything from them. Um, we got this pair of shorts for men. Lily Pulitzer. This is kind of like some kind of shawl. It's got a hole in the middle. Pair of shiny shorts for women. Another pair of Lululemon leggings. Nice design on these ones. Nice color. A men's Lululemon polo sport. Windbreaker cargo pants with the spell out on the side. Uh, Marmot pants. Bugatti. This this does pretty good. The O Cotton Tech. The Three Stripe brand. Not Adidas. Lululemon. Po polo for the men. We got this Robert Graham. The Flip Cup. If you can get the limited edition, those do better. Um, they still do okay. Um, Peter Millar Performance. Just plain white. A pair of aloe leggings. A Lululemon polo shirt. Another St. John cardigan. And all this was five bucks. We paid two ninety for all this stuff that I'm showing now. Um, Lululemon, or sorry, Lily Pulitzer, the pants. Vineyard Vines Slim Fit Murray shirt. Another Robert Graham. Like I said, the limited edition ones do better. The more flamboyant, the better the colors, the better the flip cuffs do better. Lululemon, 
more Lululemon. This is a nice one, a Dodgers Rain Spooner Hawaiian shirt. There's the tag, Dodgers. This one will do well. Dodgers are pretty hot right now with Shohei Otani. We got these Chicago Bulls Mitchell and Ness Hardwood Classic shorts. We got this Rugrats members only jacket. These actually do okay on eBay, surprisingly. We got a Vineyard Vines Slim Fit Whale shirt, pair of Lululemon pants. These um, performance Lacoste shirts, they always sell like one day for me. A pair of Lily Pulitzer pants, a Peter Millar uh, featherweight. And then this is just some miscellaneous stuff that we also got from those folks. Here's a Jay McLaughlin uh, skirt, regular price, 188. Um, just regular stuff, some free people stuff down there. Um, so this was part of the deal of the 58 people. More Peter Millar down here, just regular stuff. That, you know, we've already been over a bunch of times. This one here I picked up at the flea market. This is a vintage truckers only. It's for kids, single stitch. But I picked it up to show you guys. It's, it is 3D emblem. If you can get the adult truckers only shirts, in the words of my man Arwen, vintage truckers only goes for big money. It's going to sell to Thailand. They're going to pay immediately. They're going to snipe you immediately. This one is probably still worth a couple bucks, but if you can get the adult truckers only, good money right there. Okay, so this stuff here we got from when we went to the guy's house. This is my original Lululemon guy, if you guys remember him. Um, I always get about 100 pieces from him. Today we got 234. My cost, 593. Um, we got these ones from Arwen. I put them on the FaceTime. We got a Spain Raul jersey and as we're filming this Spain is going to face England in the World Cup tomorrow but this is going to come out later but pretend it didn't come out who do you got Spain or England I got Spain 2-0 Arwen has the same I believe we have some Nike uh, react golf shoes another pair of these Skecher and these are for the actual golfer I think Arwen probably has 15 pairs of these by now and inside they are for Sheffield United. And these are worn once or not at all. Um, they're all samples. So these are made for the actual golfer. And Arwen, I believe, has the market cornered on these. Um, I think he probably has 15 pairs and he suspects they're gonna go for a couple hundred bucks each. So he's gonna do well with those. All right, so this stuff here, this stack and this stack is what I got, 234 pieces, 593 each. We got this soft shell um, North Face Atletico National Adidas soccer jacket, another North Face. We got this vintage Oakley sweater with the bulldog on the front, 2003. Yep, 2003, Oakley. This one's gonna do surprisingly well, I have a feeling. Tommy Bahama, embroidery sales call. I would love to work for Tommy Bahama and come up with all of these double entendres that they have. What is your favorite Tommy Bahama double entendre? Sales call, whoever works in that, best job in the world. We got another Tommy Bahama, the better the material, the more, or the better the pattern, the more money you'll get. Another Tommy Bahama here, another Tommy Bahama here. We got a dragonfly shirt and these ones can do pretty well if you can get kind of like the anime looking ones. Dragonfly, here's one that has motorcycles on the front. That one will do okay. Rain Spooner. Birdwell Beach Britches. This brand does pretty good. It's hard for us to find out here. I believe it's from California. Yeah, made in California. It hasn't quite made its way down here. Harley sweater, I'll put it in the brick and mortar store. This one is vintage. It's got the Lee tag, and then it's got the Harley tag sewn over. This one is from 1998. Put it in a brick and mortar store, store probably sell it for 50 bucks. Another Harley shirt for the brick and mortar store. I sell them for 20, 25 bucks over there. Vintage Adidas, made in Taiwan, Republic of China, uh, USA. Nice one. If you can get the the key roll on ones, those ones do good. Uh, we got a Marlin shirt, single stitch. And if you don't know what single stitch is, you wanna learn some tags, go to this video where I did vintage t-shirts explained, logo seven. So this at my brick and mortar store for mm, 30 bucks. Here's a cool one. This is the Brooklyn Dodgers on a screen stars tag. Again, this one is gonna be single stitch. 
And this one is from 1991. And anything that's from like a defunct team, so this is the Brooklyn Dodgers, Ebbets Field, um, both of those are defunct, both of those are not around. Anything from defunct teams usually command a premium. Got another Harley shirt, probably for this one. You get 30 bucks at the brick and mortar store. We have a Psycho Bunny. Always love Psycho Bunny. I wish my whole store was Psycho Bunny. Harley, kind of like a thermal long sleeve. A vintage champion. Not reverse weave, but made in USA. Good tag. Um, Boston University. Harley shirt. Another Harley shirt. And all these Harley shirts are going to be 20, 30 bucks at the brick and mortar store. This one is pretty cool. It's on a jerseys tag. So this one is older. This one is a Jethro Tall from 1993. That one's pretty cool. L.L. Bean Deep Pile Vest. A New York Yankees Majestic Mesh Jersey. Another Harley shirt. Nice fade on this one. Robert Graham. Nice one. Cool one. Burberry. Very nice. Burberry there. This one will do pretty well. Carhartt for the brick and mortar store. So this one for 20 bucks. Diamond Cross Ranch. This brand does okay. Cleveland Indians with the Chief Wahoo right on the front. These sweaters here, these ugly sweaters, that ugly, ugly Christmas sweaters like for the NFL, they do pretty good, especially this time of year, later in the year. Don't pass these up. I sell them every single time. We have a linen uh, Vineyard Vines, Psycho Bunny. We got a Vineyard Vines dress. Another Robert Graham. Loren Ralph Loren with kind of like some chains all over it. That one will probably do okay. Another Loren Ralph Loren. When I first saw this, I thought it was a Lily Pulitzer. Another Robert Graham polo shirt. Peter Millar Summer Comfort. Here's another Peter Millar crown crafted with some little hibiscus flowers on it. Ralph Lauren uh, featherweight mesh, Henley. This is a good one, Holderness and Barnes, good brand. But this one here, Fisher Island, Sea Island, the Fisher Island and Sea Island um, embroideries do command a premium. And inside of the group, I show how to research brands. And I did golf polo shirts and I found 18 brands in 50 minutes, for most of them 40 $50 profit, that all had well over 100% sell through. That call alone is worth admission into the group. This is Brook Brothers, but it is the Burberry pattern. This one does very well. Peter Millar, nice shorts, nice pattern on those. Another uh, featherweight mesh on the polo shirts. I usually do very well with the featherweight mesh. Lacoste with the little crocodile. Linen, Tommy Bahama with the ombre. Holderness and Barnes again, good brand, good tag. Lacoste, a Vineyard Vines a performance with the Marlins on it, good print. Psycho Bunny V-neck. So all of this is going to be Lily Pulitzer and a bunch of Lululemon. The Lily Pulitzer, we got a, a sweater, a shirt. We have another shirt, a sweater, another shirt. All Lily Pulitzer. And we find a lot of Lily Pulitzer when we go to West Palm Beach because that's where Lily Pulitzer stuff is sold. Some Bermuda shorts with some hot air balloons on them. We got a dress. Another Lily Pulitzer here. With the strap. Another one. We got some Lily Pulitzer shorts with the scallops on the bottom. Lily Pulitzer dress. Another one. And this stuff is not hard to spot. Here's another Lily Pulitzer white. Another one here. Remember, we're at $5.93 on all this stuff that I've been showing you for a few minutes. All of this is Lululemon. We have a bathing suit, top and bottom, a shirt with some little floral print on it. Another shirt, men's shirt black, another men's shirt black, like an open sweater, Lululemon. We got these pants, these ones here. With the lines on them, those ones are easy to spot if you can spot the lines. Got one of these little waist belts. Lululemon with the spell out on the side. Another one of these shirts here. Speckled one for women. Pants. More pants with some two pockets on the side. My wife likes the pants with two pockets. I don't know why more brands don't put pants with two pockets, but it seems like the women like them. Basketball shorts. Hoodie for men. V-neck. Two in one women's tank top. It was a two in one again for the women's. Aloe, nice sweater for the Lululemon. Kind of a turtleneck one, long one. Maybe a dress. It's got that little Lululemon logo on it. These pants, these pants, 
more long ones two pockets let's go pants sports bra what is this soul cycle again on the sports bra women's shirt pants a little tie crop kind of like some khakis you got a bra another one and these are good because they're very lightweight easy to ship camo and they sell pretty good some joggers another bra and the more straps on the back it seems like the more money you get for them another one more two-in-one type shirt here it's got the rip cord on the bottom a tank top for women's a tank top for women's another tank top for women maybe the same exact one another one three in a row okay very good this one's a little bit different though it's got like a little keyhole in the back pants shirt little line on the back bra more these pants here these do very well with the lines on them, easy to spot. Gray bra, blue, another blue. Black, red, red, blue, black one. Green tank top, nice pants. Blue. A little fanny pack, men's shorts, another one, men's shirt, red one, a bathing suit, that one, blue lemon with the, the gold spell out, this is one, I haven't seen this one before, white one, kind of like a little turtleneck. Some shorts and the last one with a built in bra. <sighs> you know, people they say, Hey, how did you find 120 items every single day? This is how it is work, it is tough, it's hot, it's Florida. I know profitable inventory rains from the sky, but like I'm telling you right now, don't rain from the sky. This is work, this is hard work, this is tough work. Um, and then after this, I would go home and I would list and I would photograph and that would be my life. So um, even though this was the life, it has transformed my life. I hope this video provided help. Um, eBay is such a valuable tool for all of us to multiply money. So like the money that I did spend, I'll put it right here, will turn into this much money. I'll put it right here as well. When you take this much and you turn it into this much, sure it's a little bit of work, sure it's hot, sure it kind of sucks sometimes, but I hope this video was helpful because without doing stuff like this, I would not be able to retire by 40 years old. I would not be able to have changed my life, my wife's life, my son's life, get us into a different uh, neighborhood, get us into a different set of schools, and give us a whole bunch of opportunities, a whole bunch of investments, a whole bunch of options where we get to wake up and do exactly what we want to do today. And all of this here, believe it or not, this is exactly what I wanted to do today. So um, if you want to learn about this stuff, I have a great community. It's over 2,500 people. They recur every single month. We have 30 live calls per week. I answer every single question in the group. I'm very thorough. I appreciate everybody for hanging out with us. If you do like the videos, share them with someone who can learn. And as always, be great. Thank you.